It began as all crusades usually do as a personal crusade, one that started obviously when my two sons, 10 and 12, uh, were diagnosed. My husband and I, my eldest son, was forced to embrace a new normal with no family history, no one to blame, just a sudden realization that everything had really changed. And as, as I speak to every parent who is listening, when those you love, especially your children, are affected by something you don't understand, you're scared and you're lost and you don't know where to turn. Everything is spinning around seemingly without end. That's where my husband Joan and I found ourselves over 25 years ago. I'll be honest, it was a very scary time. We also realized that our first priority was to keep our boys safe and alive. Like many of you, we were really overwhelmed by this new disease that had suddenly invaded our family and our lives. We embraced a new challenge. We acknowledged the requirement that we had to achieve, which was become really disciplined. We had to really be disciplined with our life, um, and it really became a whirlwind of absorbing so much knowledge as possible while staying positive and at the same time allowing our kids to resume life with as few interruptions as possible. And as you know, when a child is suddenly faced with a life-threatening disease, you, you want to embrace this new challenge and acknowledge it. And with the disciplines that are bestowed upon you and your child, you want to give them as much freedom as possible, but knowing that they are safe. The transition to post-secondary school is, is really a great period of anxiety for parents and, and caregivers. But knowing that the disciplines that we've given them when they were younger, hopefully they'll reach into their resources and they f will figure it out. There are so many situations that I can tell you all that created so much anxiety and panic and just that aha moment, but not aha meaning like it's been amazing. It's just been overwhelming. But I knew that my husband and I, who coached them through hockey and soccer after they, were, they developed diabetes, gave them the disciplines that they needed to carry them forward. And this, uh, as I speak to you all as parents, this is something that you have to all believe in, that you give your kids the disciplines, the love, and the support that they truly need before they transition and during their transition. And they will, believe me, figure it out. In my kid's illness, I had discovered my true life's mission. I knew that I was going to start a scholarship program that would reward kids for all their hard work, for their consistent courage, and for coming up to the disease that requires tremendous commitment and efforts. These kids our heroes, our kids are heroes, and so too are my boys. So without further ado, there are quite a few programs <laughs> that the Foundation has created to support kids in transition. Um, these are resources that we created along with our alumni. We have 813 kids who receive scholarships who have paid it forward on so many levels through the Foundation. We're a small foundation. I'm the founder and chair. Uh, this is a volunteer uh, labor of love for me and we are very important in the diabetes community because we like to make sure that all our resources that we have for our youth are used in a very positive way and will help these kids live a healthy, long, strong and happy life.